who has the best chance to win the CONCACAF Champions League among these five MLS teams this year? We're not saying they're going to do it. We're not We're not predicting that it's going to happen. we got the reverse jinx or the jinx or however you want to define that up and rolling. Who is the team that has the best chance if all the stars align? Because we know even with the best teams in this league's history, that's had to happen. Who is the team? Start us off, Doral. Who you got? It's it's Columbus. Just because, again, no weak spots on that roster. Depth everywhere. And uh, in theory, a, a cup, uh, three match winners who can do it on the big stage. Uh, that said, th- there's a really strong argument for Atlanta because if Joseph comes back, 100 percent and like he's joseph he like he can do it against anybody what about draw because that's the elephant in the room too because yeah i mean like, I, I like atlanta united but alahuense is a monster right now like they just are rolling everyone yep and i look i think the union could have a chance and they actually got a decent draw among mls teams saprisa is not at top top saprisa form maybe likely because alahuense is there Right now, so then it is the crew. It's Esteli, but then you have Monterey next, or maybe it's the Timbers because you have Maritone, who haven't been that great in Honduras no. in this Clausura. But then you have America next, who have been just absolutely crushing everybody in Liga MX. It's just like there is a butt on all of these, and you open up that next door, and there is somebody waiting to but, uh, beat you down. But on draw, Columbus, I think, has the best opportunity. One, they are the best team for an MLS team. Two, they are the team that is most consistent from last year. So again, this is in preseason for most MLS teams. You've got new coaches on some sides. You've got new star players or new central pieces like a Philadelphia. Um, You've got injuries for Portland and so, and Toronto, again, a new coach. So for Columbus, they're the most established. And then you've got an opportunity in the first round, I think an easier draw to get out. And while you do have Monterey in the second round, Cruz Azul and America are the two best teams in this competition. And they avoid Cruz Azul at least to a semifinal and then America in the final. And one of the things I think with member Toronto's run and they beat Tigres and they beat America and then they play Chivas was like, you're always going to have to beat the big team. You're never going to avoid them completely. You're not getting a gift and getting an upset in a semifinal and, oh, you don't have to beat a big team in the final. So I think if you're going to meet America, that's where you want them. If you're going to meet Cruz Azul, that's where you want them. Columbus has an opportunity to get a couple of weeks under their belt, build towards that. I think they have a reasonable first round draw to your guys' point. I don't think Atlanta even makes it through against Alajalense. I think they're the best team that an MLS team got drawn against. And Atlanta's not in a place to win a series like that. So it set up quote unquote well to Weeby's point, but you have to play three, three Liga MX teams potentially to win this. And that's no one's ever beat three. Uh, Toronto got through two and a half, if you consider penalty <laughs> kick shootouts that. So it's not easy, but it's still, it's set up for them. The one thing, I worry about a little bit with Columbus is there's the good for them, which is they don't have a ton of players who play internationally for their countries. So they're able to stay together. But in this, I think players who have played internationally the last few weeks have more game under their belts because they've played at a high level since December. Columbus basically didn't have anyone that left for the last international window. So while they're able to stay together and work as a group, no one's gotten like a high level 90 minutes out since basically MLS cup. You look around the locker room, Kalen you're on one of these teams you're thinking hey maybe we could be the ones what do you see what would you need to see mm. and how and, and in the beginning of the season without a competitive game because we're talking about the crew they just lost to toronto 4-2 in preseason artur is injured probably not going to play against the Vita vita warmgore is out he's probably not going to play in this series as well like it's not perfect for them well i i mean I mean, the main thing that I think I struggle with, with, and this is kind of always the case, is just the timing of when this all happens. So you ha- you really need, and that's why I was saying, and I agree, I think Atlantis has a really tough one with Alajuense, but I, I, I think if you can get past, if you can just get past the first one um, somehow, and then you get healthy, then you get Joseph, and you, you know, you mentioned Vela, you mentioned Javinko, Joseph is like of that class as well too, and so you need to sort of, I don't think the expectation if you're in the locker room is to say, we're going to be our best right away. That's just not realistic for where you're at in the preseason or match fitness or anything like that. Um, but if you can just sort of get through it and then you get your star players back, I think even for a Portland, maybe you get Blanco back, you you, you give yourselves a better chance um, as it goes, but you have to be realistic. You can't, you're not going to be able to get all the way through this all at once. And, and I think even for teams, it, it's tough because even looking ahead, like the beginning of the season is super important for MLS as well too, for 
open cup, open cup yeah. otherwise. So it's like you can't really throw everything at one competition and then sacrifice the next, which then starts to spiral and suddenly you're off to a, um, you know, a bad stop and we a bad start. And we've seen teams really struggle with that in the past. Uh, look, it, it is in some ways a preseason sort of run out for these teams. They haven't had competitive games. This is the first one. Now, I would not recommend saying that publicly. <laughs> <laughs> but in some ways it is and that is the challenge for mls and that's why we kind of have to protect our hearts and be what was it uh the line there kaylin it was cautiously uh, pessimistic yes we're cautiously <laughs> pessimistic about this tournament i think that is a very good way to put it